God, we come before you. In all humility, we come. In total reverence, we come. With the heart of thanksgiving, we come. In all humility, we come. In a reverential all of your majesty, might, splendor, and glory, we come. Acknowledging that when we see the splendor and the brilliance of your holiness, we come before you confessing that we are undone. Truth be told, we're not worthy even to be in your presence. So we're grateful and gracious and thankful that you allow us access into your very throne room presence. Not based upon our goodness, not based upon our personal performance, but based upon the finished work of Jesus, the righteousness of Jesus, uh, the love and commitment of Jesus, we're able to stand before you. So in all humility, we humbly, uh, yet boldly approach your throne of grace and mercy, knowing that it is there that we find help in our time of need. I'm asking you, God, that you bless the fathers that you bless the men, that you bless the families, not only of this congregation, but for all of those who are striving to seek your faith, and even to God for those who seem to have no regard. We are praying that your providence that you care will usher them through situations, through circumstance, will usher them into a realization of their need for you, and make the decision Ah, before it is eternally and everlastingly too late. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessings today. We ask for your blessings uh, upon your people. That we may have the, uh, the boldness, the tenacity, the courage, and the confidence to dare to be great to dare to stand with everyone else fits, uh, to stand up uh, and let the world see that we're not looking for champions. We're striving to be champions. Champions in Jesus. Overcomers in this world. Uh, those who remain steadfast and unmovable forever pursuing to uh, increase in our faithfulness. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings on those who are sick, for those who are receiving this word, but uh, they're receiving the word on uh, uh, ground that is not fallow, on hard hearts. Soften their hearts that the word may find their hiding place uh, in good soil. That it may germinate. That it may grow and manifest itself uh, through them entering into a right relationship with you through your son, Jesus Christ. We're praying for this congregation that we will understand that we glorify you and we serve others. So help us to get outside and beyond ourselves. That we may be uh, not mere objects of ministry, but you will use us as agents of ministry, as conduits uh, for your blessings. Help our light, uh, rather, your light that is within us, shine in such a way that others will not just be impressed by what we do, but by who we are and whose we are. We thank you to God for everything that you do, for your myriad of blessings, too numerous for us to count. So we hope and pray that it will suffice to say, thank you, Jesus. We hope to God that we fail in our ability to, to number all of your goodness and your blessings, that it simply say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for doing what you do, for being who you are for taking care of us, 
for nurturing us and blessing us. Picking us up when we were down, dusting us off when we were unclean. Placing our feet on solid ground. Giving us the wherewithal to say yes to you and no to the devil. Help us to be a beacon of light to others who are seeking for a role model. Help them to see the champion in us as we solidify our walk in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated today.